What's shaking, Chewy Nation, Chewbacca, let me hear back with another Madden 20 Ultimate Team video today. Today we're talking, talking coin making, of course, of course, we're talking kindling, makes sense, uh, and uh, some other random stuff thrown in there. So I'm excited, hopefully you're excited as well, hopefully you had a good Christmas if you celebrate it. Uh, let me know down below uh, what your best gift was, what your favorite gift was. Uh, if you if you got any any awesome gifts, let me know. I got a lot of texts and stuff, so I'm excited about that. That was pretty awesome. Now, let's talk about my pricing guide. Down below, there is a pricing guide. Check it out. There is a lot of information uh, to be had, not just about sniping, but you know, a resource. Hopefully, that will help for you. It has thresholds for abilities. Check the tabs down below uh, in the sheet. Uh, there's there's a lot of information and i plan on adding kindling as well that's something i haven't had on there uh for that uh, so that's another thing i want to add uh to the pricing guide uh so check it out uh and then when i post a new video you know you come back and you check out the newest pricing guide and i just keep making new ones uh that you and keep helping helping you but also improving it uh based on your feedback so if there's anything that you think needs to be added let me know in the comments okay now let's talk about some coin making kindling all that stuff First up, if you go to your binder, power-ups, it's not a bad idea. It's December. If you've had the game since it came out or, you know, had it out, had it for a while, check your power-ups. See if you got any expensive ones. Go to Mutthead. Go to Mutthead. Check. Go to your uh, Mutthead uh, search uh, where you, the drop-down menu, power-up. Change it to power-up. Check the most expensive power-ups. Maybe you got some of them. Uh, if you don't know, Mutthead, great resource. You used to be able to link it up to your binder, which was awesome, and it would just you know, tell you the, how much all your cards were worth on Mutthead, but you can't do that anymore. You just got you to compare them. Or you can just hit LB, and it will bring it up to the auction channel. So you can do this one by one. I think that takes a little too long, but you know, check your binder. See if you have maybe a Patrick Ricard or you know, a Kyle Juszczyk or Michael Strahan or you know, some of the more expensive ones. Uh, check that out. I had a couple of the fullbacks. Fullbacks always go for a good amount. Uh, so yeah, just check to see if you got some. I have some that I still have to sell. Uh, I need to look at that, but uh, not a bad idea to look right now. Now, if you're new and you or you just never do solos, it may also not be a bad idea. Uh, Dan Schrock one uh, posted this on Twitter, uh, so I feel like I should give him uh, the the shout out. Um, he was the one who posted uh, Legend solos. Uh, the very first solo sequence, you get a uh, Mel Blunt, Michael Strahan uh, power up from doing them. I believe they're full games. So keep that in mind. Good for XP, though. Uh, and you can get those, and they sell for, you know, whatever, 20K, 30K, uh, somewhere around there. So they're a pretty easy way to make some coins, some quick coins, uh, and you don't really have to think about it. And this is true whenever any card comes out, if there's a new item, if a new, you know, Ken Houston comes out, a lot of people may be doing the uh, power-up, so you may want to, or, yeah, power them all the way up, so you may not be a bad idea to do that uh, solo. So you get a new Ken, you get the Ken Houston power-up, and you might be able to sell it for 30, 40K, uh, when it comes out it, it's true for any of these uh when they get new cards you know hold on to them until they get new cards and then whoop, throw them on the auction house and make some good coins uh that's not a bad idea so uh, i don't really like doing full game solos but if you can make some good coins it may not be a bad idea so keep that in mind those are pretty good uh, dan uh put that on twitter so i figured i should at least mention that and talk about power-ups because they are uh, you know, something that's in your binder that can be worth quite a lot and you just kind of forget about it. Uh, you may have pulled them in a random Twitch pack or random, like, pack that was, you know, that was nothing. Like, you felt like, oh, it's just a power-up. They usually go for a few hundred coins, not much, and it may actually go for 20, 30,000. So, just something to think about. It's something to look at. Something to look at. All right, now, now let's talk about some kindling, uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, some sniping. So I want to talk about the cheapest value on training or kindling. Sorry, uh, alternate currencies here. Uh, talk about the cheapest value on kindling and why you should care about this. So the first reason you should care is because there's a good chance we get blitz offers uh, on Friday the 27th uh, or sometime over the weekend. Uh, my birthday is on the 27th, by the way. Uh, don't ask how old I am. I am uh, is a big one. But uh, the kindling values are important for not just the blitz offers, but also just in case you want to use it for other things, or if you're trying to snipe them and uh, you know kind of build your coin stack that way, it may not be a bad idea to know where the best values are in general. Uh, that's usually not a terrible thing altogether. So let's go ahead and look at them. So I made a, I made a spreadsheet, not really a spreadsheet. I just did it for my own, uh, and I plan on adding it to the price guide as well. 
but looking at the cheapest values uh, for Kindling, and uh, no surprise, the lower overalls, the 78, 79s, all those are really bad values, and when you get to the higher overalls, they generally get better values. But one thing that I do find interesting, or maybe not that interesting, but the out of position players are generally the best values for uh, for uh, Kindling. So I'll go ahead and do out of position. Uh, these are usually where you're going to find the best values. Uh, so uh, just looking at it uh, real quick, uh, the 87s is what stands out to me. 87s, uh, which is just Allen, uh, Josh Allen, at uh, 19,000. Now he's down about 18, but he's going to sell within the next few seconds. Uh, at 19,000, that's 25 coins per Kindling, uh, which is the cheapest I have listed on my spreadsheet, or about the cheapest. Uh, and they're obviously um, not too expensive, uh, 19,000. Uh, a lot of people could could afford one of these, but you know it's only um, what is it, 760 kindling. Uh, so you may find that you don't really like sniping these because you've got to buy a bunch of them if you want to stock up a lot of kindling. I don't know how many times I'm going to say kindling. That's up to you. Uh, if you want to go with the lower overall, like 87s, or if you want to try getting 89, 91s, or higher because you don't have to snipe as many, or you don't have to work the auction house as much, or whatever. But if you look, if you notice, those still haven't sold. Not really work on the auction house. You can just buy them. Best values on the auction house right here are pretty much the best values. And I could just buy these um, right now and no, like, and just get them for 18.1 and not even have to think about it. And get some pretty easy uh, kindling, 760, for the really the best value that you can get without sniping. Uh, I'm not saying you can't find better values, of course, uh, but like you can get these for 18. Uh, you know, you're talking well, you know, under 25 per uh, for kindling, which is really solid. So uh, definitely not bad, especially if they come out with blitz offers. Uh, this is going to be really good to have this kindling uh, if they if that or if they don't, you could just buy it and then like what I just did there, buy it and then just put it your minder and just wait because this is a really good deal. So and if if it does, this could double in price, or it may you know may not double. It may be worth thirty thousand, maybe worth twenty five thousand. Yeah, it, it's gonna go up in price. And what's good about this is you don't even even if you're like you know what I don't really trust it that much. I'm not sure if you just go to uh, this eighty six eighty sevens, you can see that Josh Allen, the cheapest Josh Allen I see on here is twenty four thousand. So you can actually just buy those for eighteen. Throw them up for 24. If they don't sell, you just keep them in your binder or you quick sell them for kindling, whatever you want to do. And you just sit on them and you wait and see. Because they're are they're at such a low value right now that if they don't sell, it's okay. It, I mean, you, you want them to sell. I mean, you're trying to make coins, of course, but say hey, it doesn't sell. It's, it's okay if you have the coins to spare. If you don't, then this may not be for you, but I'm thinking you post it for 24. I think it, a good chance it does sell, uh, that 24 number. You paid what 18 we'll say you paid 18 put up for 24 uh that's you know a little under 22 21 6 you just made 3500 plus coins like that pretty easy and if it doesn't sell you got a great deal on kindling it's the best deal on the mar best deal on the market so uh, look at this just jesse base just sold for 22,000. this is just sold for 22,250. do you think that's the cheapest jesse base on the auction house well why don't we find out let's see if somebody's a silly head or not i'm gonna do bangles 19,500. That baby's been up for almost nine minutes. Uh, 19,700. 20,250. Been up for over a half hour. Somebody just paid 22,000 for that because people are silly heads. They don't know how to filter down the auction house. It's just the way it is. So, uh, do, I mean, Josh Allen, uh, he's not bad. So, uh, really find um, the out of position. Uh, 86s in general are not good values. I think um, if you pay. Even like 18, I mean, you're going to pay well over 30 uh, per 30 coins per kindling. So you're really not going to want to uh, uh, stock up on those for kindling. Uh, but still, you know, that doesn't mean they're not good for uh, sniping uh, for sure. Uh, I didn't get that because I was late, obviously. But that would have been a fantastic deal on Josh Allen. Dang it. Um, but uh, you're going to see a lot of those if you just stick on them. I mean, they're going to be popping up a lot. So uh, Josh Allen, really good at 19,000. Uh, and under, I mean, you're going to pay 25 per. So super good, super good to snipe. Cannot uh, cannot say that enough uh, with that. Uh, next up um, is Joe Webb. Now, Joe Webb is uh, one of the best, if not the best, 89s. I think it is the best 89 to snipe or just a quick sell for trading. Uh, but he has went up to a decent amount. If you get it around, I think it was around 40, 
uh, you're still gonna pay about 26 per I think something like that so it's still gonna be a little expensive uh, compare a little more expensive than the Josh Allen's uh, but you do get for an 89 uh, you get 14 you get almost twice as much um, twice as much kindling so you won't have to buy as many of them so if you're just looking to get quick you may not if you find if you see flooded of Joe Webbs sometimes that happens we see a bunch of them for like 38,000 it may not be it you know if you're just like I'm trying to get kindling fast go ahead and stock up on on Joe Webbs sorry uh, go ahead and get a bunch of Joe Webbs and quick sell them it's a little bit quicker maybe because because they give you more kindling uh, but generally I still I still highly say highly suggest uh, Josh Allen over uh, Joe Webb and then next I have the 91s I want to discuss and that's Taysom Hill and Taysom Hill is right there with Allen as the best value on the auction house uh, Taysom Hill is at 70,000 uh, just about 25 as well so if you can get him under uh, 70,000 for Taysom Hill is about the equivalent to 19,000 for Josh Allen if that makes sense by the com by how much kindling they give you so if you've seen them for under 70 uh, that's a better deal than getting a Josh Allen for 19 uh, so it just really depends how much coins you have if you want to try to flip these and try to make coins or if you're trying to just get kindling Probably Taysom Hill is a little bit better because Taysom Hill gives 27,900 compared to Josh Allen 760. So you have to buy, you know, whatever, four times as much or to get it, which makes sense because it's 19,000 to, to 70,000. But you have to buy, you know, three and a half times uh, Josh Allen's to get as much for uh, Taysom Hill's or more than that. So uh, that's something uh, to, to consider. Uh, but, 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 but. Uh, you can get a lot of good deals on Taysom Hill, so you don't necessarily have to go. Sometimes it's it's weird, you know. Sometimes the the more expensive ones are the better deals, which is actually usually how it works. But sometimes that's not the case. In this case, it's it's almost equivalent. Uh, I think Taysom Hill actually might be a little bit cheaper, uh, but they're pretty close. But let's not stop there. What if you just are trying to you know snipe these? and maybe flip them so this is where i think it gets more interesting so we see a Taysom hill here for sixty-five thousand six hundred, which is a good de great deal actually i should probably buy that but um i and i probably eh, probably should you know what let's buy it okay dang it. I, kn I knew i took way too long all right so uh sixty-six thousand, which is a great deal um i just i just took way too long so now let's go ahead and go back to 9091 and just search by buy now um, like this so this is the way that I figure out how much cars sell for uh, now this does mean you have to wait um, until you know until they're close to expiring you see they were uh, you know they're up for 40 50 you know almost an hour before they sell so you do have to wait when I'm talking about the minimum sell price you have to wait the full time don't take them off the auction house but they will sell uh, so we see a Jordan Reed sell for 71,100 you think that was the cheapest Jordan Reed uh, so we go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and check it out. Maybe, maybe it was, maybe it was clearly not, um, way more. So I don't know if you do, if you did the math, but, uh, 10% of 70,000 is 63,000. So that person that sold it for 71 probably made a little bit of profit. If they got it, even if they paid 63,000, which isn't even a snipe, uh, they could have made, now that's not a good snipe because you're making very, very little, but it is, it is coin, you know, you're making some coins. So if you sell them for 71, 72, 73, Wow, that's pretty easy sniping. Now, let's go ahead and look for the first 91. So I'm going to keep looking. We see Taysom Hill for 80,000, right? 80,000. How much were they up for? What were they, 70, right? Under 70? 70, sell for 80, that's 2,000 profit, which isn't much. I'm not saying you should do that. But what if you get it for 65? What if you get it for 63 and you sell for 80? Oh, that's not bad. That's definitely not bad. And if it doesn't sell, the great thing is when you pay 63, when you pay 65, when you pay 64, whatever you pay, 66, if it doesn't sell, you just quick sell for kindling or you hold on to it. They have, I mean, that's the thing because the value probably doesn't go down much. It could go down a little bit. That's always a little, I'm, I'm not saying there's no risk, but it probably doesn't go down much. You're probably not going to lose on it as long as you get a decent deal on it. And if it doesn't sell, you got a great deal on kindling that you can use for blitz offers, or just wait until blitz offers come out, and then you sell them for instead of seventy thousand when you paid bought it, they're going to be one hundred and ten thousand, or maybe more. You know, because depending on how good these blitz offers are, they they're going to go up quite a bit. So again, that's just something to think about when you're doing it. But these are the Taysom Hills are really really good uh, to snipe. We saw the Jordan Reed. Um, it's not a good value for training or for kindling, but. It is a good sniping. You know, you can definitely snipe these uh, and make some good coins. We saw it sell for 71, and you can buy them for, you know, 
well, in this case, no, but maybe you could buy them for, you know, high 50s, mid 50s. The only worry with Jordan Reed, and this is why he's not as good as Taysom Hill, is it's not a good value for Kindling. So when the Kindling spikes, Jordan Reed won't spike as much as Taysom Hill because Jordan Reed's not as good a value. Uh, so that's just, that. that's that's why I wouldn't recommend necessarily sniping them, but it's still not terrible. It's still not terrible. Uh, so 99-1 is really good. Uh, and then I think uh, beyond that, there's not as good a value. Uh, but 92-93s, uh, if I look at uh, out of position, which are usually the best values, uh, if I look at these, uh, Patrick or Card, a lot of times, and same with Mike Evans, you can get these for under 140. Uh, let's say you pay 140, that's about 26 per. So still not as good as your Taysom Hill and your uh, Josh Allen. And they're not even 140 right now, they're more. Uh, but if you get that number, that's not bad. Uh, but you're probably going to want to look closer to 130, uh, perhaps. Uh, they do give, uh, 93s give 5,350 kindlings. So you don't have to buy as many, of course, the more you buy, the higher overall. But not as good a value. Uh, as, and also, you're risking more coins uh, per one guy. And I, I don't generally like to invest in a bunch of high overalls because... I might have the coins, but a lot of people, you know, maybe have, you might not be sitting on 3 million. You might have 100,000 or 200,000 or and maybe less, but uh, you might have, you know, a few hundred thousand. You can't just, you don't want to just buy one card and just sit on it. Um, that to me doesn't, doesn't seem like uh, the best advice for, you know, a lot of people. You can, um, if you feel like it's a good value, but right now the Patrick cards are not clearly not as good a value as the, the other, the lower overalls, the Joe Webbs, the, the, hit um Taysom Hill and I'm gonna say Josh Hill uh Taysom Hill and Josh Allen uh, and then the last thing um that I do want to discuss is 9495s uh around 300k again these are these are not great values at, th at 295 I had them listed at 28.7 per uh so that you know compared to 25 not as good a value but I will say fantastic card Calvin Johnson for 300k is a bargain uh, so he's one of the best free safeties in the game, and he's only 300k. So if you're looking for an upgrade, uh, I know we're gonna get. You know, you got the Sean Taylor limited, who doesn't have a power up yet, but he will. Uh, you got your, you maybe have Ed Reed. Uh, you got maybe Pat Tillman. You did the Mutt Master if you're able to do that. Uh, you got the, a lot of safeties that you may like, but Calvin Johnson at 300k, six five, it, it, it's kind of crazy. He's only 300k. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I know that's not has anything, nothing to do, absolutely nothing to do with coin making. But just in general, I don't have him on my team, but I feel like I probably should. Uh, I feel like that's probably me being silly not buying that. So, I don't know. Um, if you're trying to snipe 94, 95s, I didn't really talk about 92, 93s. Uh, I talked about this in the last video, but uh, 94 is minimum sell for about 200. Uh, so, uh, when you're looking at sniping these, uh, you may be able to, depending on when you're sniping, just do all offense, all defense, or mess with the cap value. Just make sure you're seeing 59 minutes right there, which we're seeing um, with that Walter uh, but just make sure you're seeing uh, 59 minutes. Hopefully I don't mess a snipe because I haven't really sniped these at all. Uh, but just make sure you're seeing 59 minutes and then you're good. Um, so those look good. Uh, later on in the day, you're not going to be able to see that, unfortunately. It's going to go away. You're going to see 50 minutes. You're going to see 42 minutes or, you know, 38 minutes because there's just so many being flooded. But right now, you know, in the in the morning, you can actually just do all offense, all defense. It just depends on when you're sniping. So, uh, Amon Green's down to 200k. In my last video, I almost sniped him for 295. He has fallen quite a lot. I ended up paying, I think I ended up paying around that 280 or something when I finally bought him. But he's a lot cheaper now. Amon Green, that, that really is how much he goes for, right? Like I'm not like, dang. Texan great, Amon Green. Why is he in a Packers uniform? It's a joke, guys. Okay, calm down. Uh, <laughs> get so many comments about that. I know he played for the Packers a bulk of his career, okay? But that one year, I think it was one year in Houston. Um, okay. Um, don't forget uh, to check out my pricing guide down below. Uh, that is hopefully helpful uh, to you guys as well as not just for sniping, but for a resource um, as well as for abilities. I think it looks better than the ones that EA put out. I think I made it look a little nicer. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's not quite perfect. Um, they stopped putting them out, so I have to like figure out the thresholds myself uh, because so it, it may not be 100% on the newer abilities. I might be missing one or something because they don't put out the spreadsheets anymore. Uh, so I have to kind of figure it out, ask people like, what's the threshold for this? But 
I feel like it looks pretty nice. I think it does. The, that's the abilities thing down below um, on the one of the tabs. You know, check it out. That gives you the threshold so you know. You know, do, wow, does Vic get Dashing Dead Eye? No, he does not. No, he does not. He needs to be a 98 overall. He only gets 97 with the power up, so he doesn't get it. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, a like would be appreciated. Don't forget to check out the pricing guide. Uh, give me feedback in the comments. Let me know what you got for Christmas if you did. Uh, if you do celebrate that and have a wonderful, uh, wonderful, a wonderful day or weekend, whenever you may be watching, whatever you may be watching, just, just have a good one. Uh, you guys are great. That's all I got. Chewbacca Lemma, out.